I'm saving my energy to leave. That's the spirit. Let's do it. They don't all have to be pretty. Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this? Interesting tactic. Shall we get on with it? suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, so it's a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Gladly. My friends. Fair enough. Sure, why not? That was really something. Let's give it a go. I know that wasn't your signature move. You won't break my resolve that easily. We haven't quite broken their spirit yet. Plan looks good. Now that I have their attention, perhaps a blessing is in order. Something... protective? Well, I could give you a hand, or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept your offer. Just this once. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Uncle Tony's got your back. My humble thanks. Watch closely. It's for the best, trust me. By the will of the old gods. Lilith doesn't care about you. I hope you realize that in time. Really, I'm fine, but save some for the others. Oh, I thought we were finished. I must be the popular one today. I think we pissed them off. Got a spell for that, maybe? Interesting. A spell to change the very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the psionic manipulations of Eros of Titan? If you can't make it happen in the next ten seconds, I'm not interested.
while you ponder arrows. Maybe we should just try throwing a big rock at him? Here we go. Being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. What? The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. Mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? Let's uh, put a pin in that. Oh. Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Well, you did the big green guy proud. I really should up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. Forever in service. Everything solid so far? Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. Guessing that explains the Hydragoons and ominous green lights. Yes, but not why you failed to use the front door. Um, hi, how about we discuss proper hero landing etiquette after we take down the bad guys? Even the mother of demons is forced to rely upon hired hands occasionally. Get it done any way we know how. I gotta say, the whole Hail Hydra thing is pretty stale. Got any new material? This is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. This won't end well. Really. 
Oh, that Davenport was at least a century old. What a waste. Let me show you the way. It's remarkable how well Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. At least Hydra Green is iconic. If you're a low-rent mercenary, I mean. Impressive. haven't given up yet. You'll need even greater numbers to defeat me. How do these guys just keep showing up? They are surprisingly relentless. In any event, we must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards of protection. yourselves I truly doubt they're paying you enough for what's about to happen Star cruisers that went down faster. Something's up. Yes, Hydra has clearly raised their game. And I have a terrible suspicion as to how. Good day, Hunter. Welcome to the Yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? 
From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. Everyone loves you when you are dead. Tell me, does that mean you are half-loved? Hmm. <laughs> she didn't describe you as a snarky jackass, but here we are. All right, Tony Stark Jr., ask your questions. Can I ask about you? I guess. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child the Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, the Hunter. But I only share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. How did you become a Dampir? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Why did you join? Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. Is that all? No, but that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart, and that's why we let her. Who else? What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people. Easy going. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Anyone else? I always considered Faust as a bit of a crackpot, but his fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce.
weak, even for Hydra. I'm a glutton for punishment. Not slow me down. Regroup and await reinforcements. I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid and a resurrected demon hunter, right? You've had this coming! Now I see why so many fear your strength. Great time's over! It sounds to me like they just missed their mama. Watch me! somehow stabilize the rate of decay within the particles themselves. How else could he be achieving such a high yield? I don't know, Bruce. I'll be sure to ask him when we're done punching out the bad guys. Get now that was something. Our side. Appreciate it. By her command. Is that really your best? Perhaps Faustus's device is worth further study. If you wouldn't mind, Carol, I'd prefer it if you and your supernatural associates not. Yes. 
make that look almost too easy. Go! No, now! Quickly! Let's go, go, go! Perfect opportunity to field test mother's device. For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that thing. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? You really think that'll be enough? something. These guys got their tactics from the back of a magazine. Feeling strong today. Really wanna piss me off. You really want to keep doing that? Our beta moving into position. Mother protect us. analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you. There is dark magic at work here. You must not let Hydra escape with it. This is a serious predicament for you. are not the only ones who should fear you.
one less thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. Hydra is in control of the situation. I almost felt that one. be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variants gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. Got it. Stop the truck. No mercy for the circus. Is that truly your best? Stand fallen a great deal. Well, that's exciting. Forever in service. Energy. Ah, these delays can be quite frustrating. Infuriating, even. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a <laughs> One way of making your presence known. Some for the rest of us. Oh. 
Let's do it. Think after 80 years of failure, Hydra would throw in the towel already. They got me good.